Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! We still are on the quest to Krennel Mines. We've still got a ways to go. I mean, we're close, but it's still a ways to go. So when I said in the last part that I thought it was close, I wasn't really that close. <laughs> um, over here is a dead end, but remember that hole for later, for it will make sense to you. Uh, once I get a certain something a little bit later out of my way. Stop it. Get out of my way. There we go. I just didn't want that to be a problem. Um, so there's another mysterious wall there. Shortcut to the bottom, obviously, because you just jump right down. But I'm going to be taking this path here because we need something from this business scrub. Yeah, the business scrubs are really useful. Okay, yeah, you got me. Let me make it up to you. This Fabulous grip ring is just perfect for <clears throat> for a young mountaineer like yourself. Climbing style for only 40 rupees. What a bargain! Yes, I would love that because it is a required item to beat this game. In fact, I'm stuck without the grip ring. So that is the best bargain you could possibly ask for. Progress. So the, the grip ring is... Uh, automatically equipped. You don't have to do anything about that. Now, now to just climb walls, you just press up towards them, and there you go. Uh, you can climb in all directions. Uh, it's really hard to dodge stuff when you are on a wall, though. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't do anything in this room right now. Force I have it, I always come back here, and I come back through Mount Krennel, and yeah, there's something there for us later, but I can't get it now. Uh, but what I can... Oh shoot, wrong way. I'm supposed to... Supposed to, wait a second. Which wall am I looking for? I think it's on the left side. Ah, my memory. I think I'm supposed to jump down here. And then use this to climb up. Hopefully... Yes, this is correct. Okay, you're going to be bombarded by boulders here. But... There's really nothing you can do. They move rather randomly and you don't move to the side fast enough to dodge them so you're better off just just moving and keep moving just yeah uh, over here is a little cave as you can no bomb throwing <laughs> i mean they wouldn't have a ledge like this for no reason come on now oh geez oh, good. Okay, in here is Fairy Fountain! Wait. Oh, I must not have the thing I need. Whoops! I'll be back here later. <laughs> Remember this place, though. Remember this place. <laughs> At least I remember that was there. Uh, anyway, just go up any way that you pl- Oh, jeez! Any way that you please. I'm getting rather lucky with the boulders, in all honesty here. There we go. And over here is a path over to the Krennel Hermit. Um, this hermit right here, he tends to have a lot of kinstone fusions. Like, I, I think he's like the leftover guy. Like, if you miss a fusion with someone else, he will have that fusion. Well, at least he might have that fusion because the fusions randomly move over to some other character. But more often than not, they are sent over to the Krennel Hermit. Hmm. Well, yes, I have. I... I've been blowing stuff up all this time. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna be back through here again, obviously, for stuff like that mysterious wall down there. All oh, these blue tectites, they take a lot more hits, so be wary of that. Um, aha! I took a little... I took a hit from that uh, beetle anyway. I'm just trying to clear the enemies out here because I need... I need to have... Oh shoot, I'm not gonna... Oh shoot, didn't mean to do that! <laughs> I need a clear runway because the enemies tend to get in your way when you're trying to pull the smush Okay, that worked out. <laughs> Whoa, that was a quick change in weather. You can use that mushroom to go back if you were, if you'd like. Uh, this is probably one of the funniest parts in the game, actually. Turn to small and go through this little path. Oh, jeez! These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out! 
if one of them hits us, it'll sting something fierce! <laughs> I don't know why this area in particular has these damaging raindrops. Because, you know, we already walked through the rain to get here, but just this little path has, the, has these raindrops here, and you gotta dodge them. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, rain like that is pretty threatening to the Minish. Anyway, we got a little rock-pushing puzzle here. Uh, whenever you see a puzzle that you can only push an object, never push it against a wall unless you're able to push it away from a wall. Always keep that in mind, you'll always solve these puzzles with ease. And... Let's just go back over, like if I were to push it in that corner, I would be quite stuck, but nope, nope, not gonna do that. Gotta push this in that hole first though, and now I'll be able to push this little stone over it. I wouldn't be surprised if Minish Link could push this as well. <laughs> I mean, you've seen how, have, I mean, you've seen how big an object Minish Link can lift, I mean, come on now. And... There we go. That uh, boulder being in front of that hole is just a red herring. There's no way, um, there's no use for this boulder whatsoever other than it just being there to push out of the way either when you're coming or going from this place. It, you just need to fill the hole from the other side. It's pretty clever by the designers that they did that. Uh, oh geez, I don't like this cave. I always take a hit from something down these paths. Not this time though, haha! <laughs> You're getting sucked up in my gust jar. Um, this this is another reason why I hate this particular cave, is because we, we got a little block pushing puzzle, and we need to not make a mistake, otherwise we will not be able to progress. I think this. Yeah, I have to push that from that side first. Then this. I don't need to push that off, I just did that for the fun of it. Then you do this. Because the other block is now out of the way. This. This. Oh, wait, wait. This. Yeah! I did remember the puzzle. For the most part. <laughs> oh, st stop ambushing me! That's not nice. Oh, shoot. I gotta get these pots out of the way. Because they are going to be a problem. And you are also going to be a problem. <laughs> to get rid of the oops, to get rid of the pots, just if you don't recall, do that. And get yourself over to the other side. <laughs> Whee! I'm gonna ignore you, because I'm mean like that. Um, I think that pot has some bombs if you need them, if I'm not mistaken. I mean those pots too, but the center pot is <clears throat> center pot is the one that I'm talking about. Yep. What does this contain? More bombs. Wow, pretty generous with bombs. Maybe that third one also contain contains bombs. The reason why they're giving you bombs is because you need bombs, and I'm saying bombs a lot. Uh, pick up bombs with the R button when you drop them, and throw them at the switch. Voila, puzzle solved. Five more bombs. To refill my stash of explosive goodness. And... Wow, another puzzle. Remember, do not push the boulder into any corners or against any walls that you cannot push them away from. Otherwise, you are going to have to reset the puzzle by going in and out of a door, and you probably don't want that. There you go. Voila. Now here's some... Oh, no, I was going to say... Here's something interesting is that you can't go back because that statue is in the way, but I forgot you can pull the statue, my mistake. Uh, I think I can get this now. I th yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get this now. Correct. My memory is not failing me today. I'm, I'm sort of shocked, I have to say. <laughs> Watch, I've already missed like five things that I could have gotten. People are going to tell me in the comments. Alright, shrink down to the minish size, and let's go in through here, ignore everything, unless you want to get some stuff along the way, it is your choice. This is Malari's Mines, and this is the place that I'm looking for, because we need to re reforge the sword. <clears throat> ting along, ting along, 
along, dig along for iron. Yeah, they're singing songs while they're digging in this place, enlarging their uh, <clears throat> apartment complex slash mine. I'm gonna talk to all the uh, mountain minish along the way here. This mine belongs to Malari and us, his seven apprentices. Did you ting along, tong along all this long way to get your sword repaired? Indeed I did. The boss is down on the lowest level. I'm gonna, that's actually the last place that we'll be going to. This is where they sleep. Well, actually, um, the apprentices sleep. The head honcho sleeps in a different room, if I recall. Uh, empty. <laughs> I think this is where the uh, head honcho sleeps. Ding tong, tong along, deep down, dig down, dig joy in the crown. Uh, well, maybe this isn't where he sleeps, but this is his abode if I recall correctly. Dang it, where's the boss man sleep? <laughs> if you head out, outside from here, you can go see the mine the humans dug, but the boss doesn't let anyone go in there without permission. Well, let's see if we can get permission. First, let's talk to the apprentices. Ting along, tongue along! Oh, what? Who am I? Why, my lad? I'm the second best of the Minish Metalsmiths. I'm making swords with the boss. Sounds like fun. Ting tong, tong long. Huh, what? Who am I? Well, I'm no less than the third best of the Minish Metalsmiths, and I'm making swords with the boss. And, hey boss man. Green clothes, and an odd hat? Sir, might you be young Link? I am Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Pecori blade. I love all this adventure, what with the rescuing of the of princesses and such. You should try a Mario game. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. And... Woo! Wait, where'd the other piece come from? I only had the handle as far as I knew. <laughs> I'll take... It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. All right, let's get started. And then they go at it like crazy. That'll be a while, Link. Let's leave it. Le let's leave them to it and find that element. Notice that the sword is now flashing red, smoking hot already. So I guess they put it in the kiln or, or something. Without my knowledge, I don't know how, how they did it so fast. Or maybe I just blinked and they, and they missed it. I don't know. What? You're going to the mine? If you talk to the boss, I won't stop you. But be careful. Anything else to say? No? Okay. And now over here, uh oh, I think you can see, you can see what's coming up. <laughs> right here. More combustible stone! <laughs> and he still has no idea what's going on. Up here is the next dungeon of the game. I think I'm gonna end off the part here, just to make sure that the parts are all nice and organized and that the dungeon starts in its own part. So, I'm done here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. We start the second dungeon. Suspense.